hello everyone welcome to this video in this video like uh, some of my past videos i would be showing the demo of uh, uh, one of the applications i have been working on so this is an application which uh, uh, gives you information about uh, anime uh, and it uses uh, this api called uh, uh, Jiken rest api uh, it has a lot of uh, endpoints it uh, uses uh, data from this uh, website called my anime list uh, and uh, you can check the doc documentation of this uh, mm, api so if you click on uh, read the docs uh, you would be directly um, taken to the official documentation page of this uh, api uh, it's created in php and uh, behind the scenes i think it uh, uh, uses uh, it is scraps data from this website called my anime list so yeah it's a really cool a api and i think uh, yeah it has a really generous uh, uses limits so daily you are allowed um, unlimited requests uh, per minute you are allowed to make 60 requests and per second you are restricted for uh, two to three requests uh, so i think uh, really let's say for example if i type in uh, death note so I have a uh, few results spread across uh, two pages. Uh, of course, uh, there are a lot of more information to be displayed than what I'm currently uh, showing. I'm just, just showing uh, the anime info along with one of the images of the anime. But uh, yeah, uh, if you inspect uh, the API response, uh, they actually have quite a lot more information which you can display which of course I'm not doing uh, right now. So if I inspect in the API response for let's say Pokemon. So uh, I can see uh, this makes a request to this uh, endpoint page. And so we have um, type, source, episodes, how many episodes are there for this anime. A status uh, is it currently airing and uh, what date it aired from it aired from uh, uh, for example 1987 to 2002 and uh, what was the rating of this uh, anime score score by so um, basically a lot of information so there's definitely a scope to um, include more information in this uh, application on this page uh, so uh, I have uh, implemented some other pages as well. For example, uh, we can search for manga as well. As you know, uh, there are a lot of instances where manga comes first into existence and then uh, the anime adaptation of the same uh, is done. So, for example, I search for uh, Death Note again and uh, for manga category, I have almost um, 250 results. So if you count. Uh... So talking about the technologies, uh, I have used a uh, view for this. Uh, I would uh, come to the uh, code editor without further delay. Uh, so uh, I would just go through the package.json file. So view 3.4, which I think the latest version has been used for this. And uh, there have been packages for routing uh, and uh, headless UI has been used for dynamic components. This uh, drop down, which you uh, see here, animated drop down, it is coming from uh, a headless UI. And uh, I have also used uh, Pinia uh, for managing store. So I have uh, uh, one store file which contains a state, getters, and actions for each module. So I have two modules uh, as of now in this application. So uh, the design pattern which I have followed in this uh, application is. Uh, one store file for each module and if you have to use this in the in the page you just need to import this for example uh, this is the man manga page i am just using this use manga 
uh, from the store and initializing this here on line number 270 uh, so i can get access to various actions and getters uh, through computed properties so i can display uh, the information here and one important important thing uh, in this application is uh, i've used this debounce search so uh, it would keep track of once uh, you have uh, stopped typing and uh, if your if the text uh, you, you typed uh, exceeds the length of three then it would uh, trigger this api uh, search manga util uh, which you can inspect uh, here i think it's coming from uh, uh, manga search function uh, which is uh, here so this is the uh, search manga function which gets called and uh, it has a page uh, passed as a default parameter and um, uh, before making the request i am um, setting this uh, loading variable to true and then once the response is available i'm against setting it to, uh, it to false and this is the variable which determines whether um, this uh, loader should be uh, showed or not uh, so loader i have a separate component for it which is inside this components folder and uh, if you go inside this loader so this is uh, uh, a random loader which i implemented uh, using uh, chat gpt so i just asked uh, um, if you could provide me a random loader using tailwind classes and some uh, animation so this is what uh, chat gpt generated for me uh, so, so search for attack yeah this was a loader so yeah uh, and also i have been using uh, uh, this uh, testing utility called cypress it's a, a really a good tool to uh, test your application in browser so yeah i might uh, have a dedicated video on it uh, using this application uh, as a base so yeah that's uh, the some of the ideas which I can uh, work with um, in future expanding this uh, project so yeah okay so that is uh, pretty much it for this video if you like this video uh, please give it a like uh, and um, yeah. uh, please subscribe to my channel it really helps um, so, yeah. that's it um, see you in another video uh, thanks a lot